welcome to my X journey and it's Mrs. Y here at the St. Regis, New York. If you watch my New Year video, I've mentioned I actually got two offers right before Christmas of 2022. So today I'm going to show you one of my offers and this is a very, very special piece as well. And of course, there's a little story about this bag, like how I got the bag. You know, I always share with you guys um, how that happened. And for those of you who are new to this channel, this channel talks about Hermes 90% of the time, but it does not limit it to Hermes unboxing only. I also talk about Hermes shopping strategy, some shopping vlogs, and this year I will also be looking at some luxury jewelry brands. So if you are interested in all these topics, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Mrs. Y X Journey. So a little bit different than my channel name, but you know, just don't forget I'm Mrs. Y. <laughs> so before I do the unboxing, I'm gonna share the story with you guys how this bag happened and which essay that I'm talking about. Because for those of you who have been following me, you guys know that I have two essay and one of them is not mine, um, it's Mr. Y's essay, and I have my own essay, and our essays are from different boutiques. So, Mr. Y shopped at the Madison flagship store in New York, and I shop at my local boutique. So, this happened with my local boutique, which is my own essay, my own profile, and for those of you who've been following me, you know that my profile only established for about one year and a half, I want to say. If you're counting like the data I got offered this bag, so it took me like a year and a half. But I also shopped at different boutiques with my profile before. And with this particular boutique, and I'm now like stuck with my current essay, I would say about a year. And that's when I got this offer. I mean, he also got me another coda bag offer the mini constants because that counts as a coda bag in 2022 so this is actually considered as a second coda bag at that you know local boutique store. so if you ask me does constants consider a coda bag i would say it really depending on your local boutiques um depending on the supply chain like and also how many bags and all that they could obtain from the corporate and for me say corporate like what do i mean by hermes corporate isn't it just paris well in the united states the headquarters is actually in new york like madison new york it does not necessarily affiliate with Madison Boutique alone, but the headquarter office actually in New York. From what I heard from my essay, I mean, he told me just a little bit more. He told me that, you know, this bag was distributed by the corporate in New York as a holiday pieces. You know, sometimes they send out, you know, extra bags to different boutiques, like smaller boutiques, you know, as a Christmas gift for their clients. So that's why he was able to, you know, ask me if I want this bag, you know, and he said, normally they're not supposed to get any more bags based up on my last experience and the video that i talked about how i rejected a b25 and that was supposed to be their last shipment from the corporate and this piece you know they have a timeline okay because that one he hold it for me for two weeks but this one he couldn't hold it any longer because he also knew that i was going on vacation soon so he said when could i come in if i want this bag and it turns out it has to be on the day of because they it has to sell before the 25th so which it was very interesting to me and i'm glad that i'm able to share a little more story with you guys about you know how hermes runs um in the united states i you know these are just solely what i was told from my essay but i can't be wrong but this is just how i perceive it and if you ask me like oh this constant count as a 2023 as a coda bag i'm not sure yet if you guys are interested maybe i can try to find out but like I said, it's really depending on your boutique. So anyways, this is basically the story. Like I basically, I got a text the day right before I go on vacation and my essay asked me, do I like this particular leather? So let me tell you guys more after I unbox it. 
because then you know <laughs> so as i'm gonna open this i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the text conversation between me and my essay because it does consist a little bit of misunderstanding and disappointments but it turns out you know i shouldn't be disappointed and this piece i it was never ever on my list uh, i mean the style is but the leathers and color it's never really on my list however it's a very very rare leather like it's it's a very special offer like you don't just get it when you ask i actually need to do some research before i said yes like it's yeah i guess i'm just not aware of i mean i know some of my youtube friends you know you you have it but this piece just never came across my mind really like never <laughs> anyway so without further ado i'm gonna first unbox it and i will tell you a little more story and then I will talk about the bag okay so like I said I haven't seen the, I haven't used the bag yet you know of course I've seen the bag but I haven't used it yet, for sure I mean I've been waiting to unbox this piece when I can use it <laughs> but I have to film it with you guys first yeah like I don't know if you guys want to make a guess if you guys are watching premiere maybe you want to you know chat with me and see what you think this piece is you could you know if you've been following me like weekly or on my instagram you you could probably guess exactly like what style this piece is so yeah like don't don't be shy guys like i i would love you guys to like you know comment and you know dm me on instagram and talk about you know the pieces that you have and what you learn <laughs> sometimes from my channel so yeah it would be great so let's just look at this piece yeah so as i mentioned earlier you know like always a true unboxing always a true unboxing look at these papers <laughs> so nice oh my goodness so I was like why is it so thick but I forgot there's a pillow at the back so yeah and of course there's a raincoat and there's a carrot book as usual you know okay so without further ado, I am going to show you guys what this piece is. Yes, it's kind of small, but it's not too small. So yeah, is it one handle or two handles? Comment below and let me know. Or put it in the chat room if you're watching Premiere. <laughs> so are we gonna do the countdown now? Three, two, one so it's a two handle and it's gonna take it out first before i reveal so just to clarify this is probably not what you think it is okay this is not a gold color it looks like it but it's not a gold color so What's so special about this bag? This is actually the heritage leather. I'm not completely sure with the pronunciation, you know, forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm just gonna put the name at the corner so that you can see. So the color is fa. The leather is a special one as well, and it's called Brainia for Bard. So there it is, my B25, and it's in gold hardware. Like this is a perfect combination. I, Go hardware has been growing on me. Uh, originally, I only like palladium hardware. I always think like you know silver, it's better match for me. But this past year or so, or like the Hermes bag that I always got an offer with mostly Go hardware, and it actually looks good with my bag and also with my skin tone. So I'm actually really in love with like you know this is very similar to Go color as well. So go on go. Perfect. Valve on go, even better. Before I show you guys the bag and talk a little more about this bag, I'm gonna tell you guys why did I say this was a little disappointment when my essay first opened it. So the text conversation came down to this. He texted me and asked, do I like Berania for bar leather? 
and then I was like, I'm not sure. Like I didn't, I didn't text him back right away. I actually did some research on what this leather is. It turns out that you know it is a heritage leather, but it patina over time. So I wasn't completely sure. So I actually did ask him, like, what is it? Like, is it similar to Togo? or Clemence, and his answer is yes, it's very similar in terms of grains. However, it patina over time. So some people like it because it will turn darker over time. Actually, you see the top here, it's less grain. It's a little smoother and it, it, it looks a little darker than the body. So I could see what he means. Like it does look like, like a two color, but it's not. And then I was like, well, it patina over time. I wasn't too sure. So at first I said, not really. I said, no. But then he asked me, you know, when can I go in? Da -da 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 -da. And then I'm like, well, because something might be coming in or whatever, right? Because he said it's, it's not in the boutique yet. Um, he just want to ask so that he can secure the bag because he needs to apply, right? For those of you who have been watching like, you know, other Koda bags or other YouTubers, um, a lot of us been sharing with you guys, you know, in order for the essay to offer you a Koda bag, they have to fill in a paperwork, okay? So he was rushing it because he wanted to know if I wanted it. But of course the holiday season, you know, he couldn't text me a long message. He, he may be actually serving a client because he was full booking. Anyway, so, and then he asked me, you know, if I couldn't come in and get it, then it's okay, then we'll do something in January. But then he asked me, oh, do I like etain color? Like, but you like etain color, right? And I said, yes, but what hardware? Is it gold? And then he said, go hardware. So then I was thinking, oh, does he mean like Berania Vavar leather, but with etain color, with go hardware? That was exactly what I was thinking. And I couldn't find it online at all. Like I couldn't see a picture, like all of them is valve color. So I only found out that Berenia for ball leather, they only make three colors, which is the valve, black and chocolate color. So then I'm like, what do you mean by Italian color? Like it must be very, very, very special and very, very rare. And I love Italian and Italian is already like what dark enough so if patina over time it doesn't really matter in a sense so i said yeah of course i'm, I'm coming to get it <laughs> so we squeeze in our schedule and he also squeezed me into his day so i went and you know very excited and really wanted to have my you know first official like gray gray and etan is like one of my top colors that i always wanted in b25 and when he first opened it, I was like, wait a minute, didn't you say Italian color? And he's like, no, Bob, I sent you pictures. Yeah, he did send me pictures, but I thought he just sending me for the leather purposes. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Um, but then, you know, I tried it on and I always love like these like camels, caramel colors. They always match me really well gold color so then I'm like I can't really say no and the leather itself it's very special it's a very rare piece it doesn't always happen it's like and I never mentioned about Berenia and I feel like if I ever turn down a Berenia and in the future if I wanted my essay would never offer me because I turn it down because last time when I turned down you know that particular B25 in that special color when I said know this color. So now I can tell you guys. So my first offer for the B25 was in biscuit. And I said because it's too yellow and it's just, you know, the the back itself doesn't really match me in terms of color. So I turned that down and then my essay said, okay, so no more yellow for you. <laughs> like I was scratching out on the list. I know he was joking, but you know, like you don't want to turn down a special piece like this. And it's not like I can't carry it it's not that i hated it okay i think it would be very very nice like you know with this heritage leather and all it's just very amazing so anyway so let me show you guys a little bit about this brainia leather and how to you know maintain it and all so i'm gonna share with you from what i've learned so first of all like i mentioned earlier this brainia for bar leather it's very similar to togo and Clemence leather because of 
the grains. It looks very similar. However, it's a lot smaller. Okay. You actually see, you know, the bigger pieces in between it actually has even smaller in-betweens for each grains. So, and the feel of it, it's more waxy. So you don't want to, you know, touch too much or like if you have lotions, um, you don't really want to touch it. Okay, because it actually would stain very easily. Like I was told from my essay that, you know, this bat is not water resistant at all because for those of you who know the original Berania leather from Hermes, it's smoother, it doesn't have any grains. However, that one, it's water resistant. So these two different Berania leathers are different, okay? However, the original one, it's not scratch resistant, but this one is. The Berania for bar is actually scratch resistant because it, with all these grains, but still you don't wanna have any like oils or waters or liquids or any sort of liquids to get close to the bags or, you know, actually on the bag. If it happens, you have to wipe it off right away. Like there's no wait time. You know, with other leathers, sometimes, you know, you can get away a little bit sometimes, but with this one particularly, you cannot. So during the New Year Eve, I actually wanted to film this and bring it out, but you know, the weather was really yucky. Like it was like raining and also I couldn't bring this baby out, you know, on the last day of 2022. Maybe another example that you could understand the stain is, you know, if you have a Louis Vuitton bag, it's like one of those, if, if it rains, it's actually staying on the bag, like on the leather. So it's referring to the Louis Vuitton regular leather handle or the trim. Like if you, especially the light color ones, if it's under the rain or it get wet, that type of stains, it's gonna happen on this bag. It's the same idea, basically. So I would never ever, if there's a 10% chance it's gonna rain on the day, I will not bring this bag out, no matter what. Uh, because you just can't guarantee sometimes. And this is back, it's not like super, super small. Like it's still a decent size, I have to say. So, and you still have to, you know, open it and all. I'm like, no, I am not. I am definitely not bringing this back out when it's raining or somewhere that I know is going to be crowded. Uh -uh. <laughs> I have to charge with this bag really carefully. Um, that's just the way I am. Plus this is my first B25. So you probably think, you know, what's the difference between Vov and the gold color? So yes, it is very similar, but it is actually deeper in color. So it's darker. I can do a color comparison in my future video as well. Um, since I have the mini Lindy in Go on Go, and this is in Vav on Go. So I think, you know, the color contrast will be very similar. I think that would be more accurate for you guys to see, you know, the two color differences. Okay, so I'm gonna open this bag for you because there is something special inside as well. So, first time opening a bag, always have that, you know, tendency to be like more careful. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have that. If you do, comment below and let me know so that I don't feel alone. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, let me just loosen this baby so you guys can see a little better. Can you guys see inside? Of course it came with this lock and crochet. So actually the side profile probably gives you a better view of the interior and the exterior. Can you guys tell? What's the difference? Interior color is actually the gold color. Um, so you see it is a slightly lighter than the exterior, the fall color. Okay, so this makes it very special um, because I guess it can count as a virtual, like it, it was not tall or it was not specified that way, but technically it is, okay? And of course the leather is also different because all Birkin's interiors are Chef Mysol leather, so this one, same, okay? So the exterior is the only part that is Berenia Fabora leather. 
there's one more thing that I want to show you guys. You know, in order to tell if this is a regular Togo leather bag in gold color or Clemence or the Brainia for bar, there's one simple way to find out. It's the stamp. Okay, normally it's just a half stamp that it's going to be in gold color if your hardware is gold, right? But this one, it's called blind stamp. So blind stamp, basically, you don't see any color, okay? It's actually just darken the leather. Another thing is, when we say heritage leather, Hermes actually picked the best leather in order to make it count as a heritage leather. So with the Berenia Fibra leather, you actually don't see any imperfection of the leather. So that's why it makes it very rare, okay, to have a Berenia for bra leather. So if you guys have any other questions about the leather or the bags, you know, please feel free to comment below, let me know, or don't be shy. Like you can DM me on my Instagram, Mrs. YX Journey. I would love to chit chat with you and talk about, you know, all the things you want. And of course here, I have a little piece. Of course, every time I bought, you know, a coat of bag, I would look for a trilly to match with my bag. This time I only got one because I have another one to match. So since this is a dark, you know, caramel type of color, like bob color, I picked this. I can't believe they still have it. So remember like around the mid autumn festival, Hermes came out with this beautiful twilly and silk scarf and like a rabbit. That's like the way to catch me with this beautiful cloud rabbit. Okay, so I have the black piece. And for those of you who be following me, you guys know that I also have the white piece. So I think it will match perfectly. So this is probably the only bag that I will put two trillies on. I would not leave it one on and one off because, you know, if you put one on and one off, it wouldn't patina together. It will be one side is darker and the other side is not. So with this bag particularly, it will be either truly on or off. Okay, even my essay told me that, you know, and I think it makes sense. Like I wouldn't want to have one as lighter handle and the other one it's darker handle. It just doesn't go that way, right? And because with my auto bags, like my like other style that I would put with my Tilly is one on and one off sometimes, you know, with, with Togo leather or Clemence leather, those are okay that like you can do that. But with the Brainier for bra leather, I would not recommend. So there you go, always either on or off. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos and you found it informative and helpful and you know, happy for me for the bag, I don't know. <laughs> um, if you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to my channels, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you won't miss any of my future videos. I do have more informative and unboxing videos in the futures. As I mentioned earlier, um, I would do more, you know, jewelry take on different brands as well. So don't forget to check out those in the future. And if you have not yet followed me on my Instagram, please follow me um, on Mrs. Y X Journey. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.